What's up, YouTube? This is Barnon11970, and as always, I thank you guys for watching my video. All right, guys, I know there are a lot of people that are joining the Silver is Going to Crash Down to the Teens movement these days. Um, and just to make something clear, because there have been some misinformation going out there, I've never said that there aren't people that didn't say that Silver could drop. Um, I will give credit where credit is due. Like, for example, Silver Futurist warned it a while ago. Uh, Don Harold has said that a year or two ago, and the one that I give the most credit to out of anybody is uh, Stella Concepts, because he was talking about that for a while, um, and I do give credit where credit is due. But um, hindsight is twenty twenty, so a lot of people now are all of a sudden coming out of nowhere and saying, oh, well, I told you so, look what's happening. But when Silver was at 35, 40, 45, I didn't see barely any videos of people saying, well, it's about to hit 50, but watch out, because two years from now, it's going to be down to the early 20s. So, you know, we all have to keep it real here. So while everybody's joining the I'm going to do what everybody else does bandwagon, and I don't mean every single person, because like the three, for example, I mentioned, they have obviously said it way before, so I don't include people like that. Um, I am actually going to be predicting that silver is going to be going up, not right away, because as we can see with what's going on and all the tragedies that are going on and people are focused in different directions, um, I don't see it happening within the next couple of weeks. But when you look at, and the media doesn't talk about this, by the way, Utah's mine, second largest in the United States as far as copper and silver. Now, um, they also manufacture, well, mine gold, but it's not as major quantities. Now, we have to understand something. I understand that mine is not a world mine, but when the United States of America Corporation has to use silver from its own country by law, having a uh, Utah mine, a big mine, be shut down could cause problems down the line. Now, there's one other mine I was just informed about, and I will post a video link on this, so I want to thank my subscriber that gave me that information, that the fourth largest silver and gold mine in South Africa has shut down, and they're they're basically on strike because of unfair working conditions, not enough pay, etc. So these things will not be talked about on mainstream media, and these things are not going to affect the prices right away. But I'm going to tell you right now, if another two weeks from now or so, because I can't predict an exact date, if all of a sudden you start seeing silver and gold rising, well, those would be some pretty big factors. And um, I want people to understand that, yes, silver is not impossible to find. But it also depends on what type of silver you're looking for. Because even companies like Apmex, which will have overpriced silver, by the way, because they, they're one of the more expensive websites I've seen, um, even they are having trouble having 90% junk silver because that can't be created. Like, you can get a silver bar, melt it down, and create a generic bar, but anything from 1964 down, unless somebody tries to, you know, make a, a copy of something, that's not made anymore. So if you look at many websites, you'll see that 90% silver, the junk silver, is hard to get. As a matter of fact, the, the little bit that Apmex has, for example, is way over spot. They're charging, I think, an average of about $32 an ounce for junk silver, not including shipping and handling charges. So my prediction is in the next couple of weeks to maybe the next month, you're going to start seeing a decent rise, either the high 20s or the low 30s. I don't think we're going to be seeing the teens for very long if it does it. Because of the fact you see that every time it's been dipping, people are buying more. And of course, you know, back in the days when I didn't know as much as I know now, I will be the first to say that I was one of those people that said, you know, it's a good time to buy at any price. And I still believe that in a sense because of the fact I stacked my silver to protect myself against a collapse. So if there's a collapse of the dollar, then it doesn't matter what you paid for it because if the silver and gold, silver and gold can actually buy you products after a dollar collapses, then it becomes almost priceless to you because what's a dollar going to be worth? But it's always better to get at a cheaper price. But I see so many people out there that are just coming out of the woodwork now to attack people like myself, saying things like, oh, I told you so. 
Well, if, if you told me so, I didn't hear it very loud and clear. Once in a blue moon does not say that you told people so because you said it five years ago and something happens. You know, that's like somebody saying, well, you know, it's going to rain. Well, eventually they're going to be right. So, you know, let's keep things in proper perspective. You know, I'm the first to admit when I do wrong, like, for example, when I was warning people about bitcoins and it crashed, before that crash, I was getting hammered by the Bitcoin community. I was getting hate messages. I was getting nasty emails and all this other stuff. And when it crashed and then crashed again and it stayed that way, I don't hear basically from anybody anymore, maybe one or two stragglers at this point. So it just shows how quick people are to say when something's going the way they thought it might, how right they were. And here's an expression I've always said about people like that. Even a broken clock is right at least twice a day. So, you know, I may not get everything right, but I stick to my guns, I admit when I'm wrong, and I don't have to go by what's popular. So right now, everybody's on the $15, $19 silver train, and that could happen short term because we could see how they're hammering it. People have lost confidence. They see all these things that are going on in the world. They're all scared. So because the majority of people in the world don't research and they follow what everybody else does, they just join these bandwagons until that train falls off the cliff. And then all of a sudden, those very same people that are supposedly all-knowing all disappear again. So I don't really worry about those people. So if you look at the things that are going on, like with these two silver mines shutting down production, you have to understand it's not going to be an instant effect because the people that are selling silver, for example, already have their stock supply. But as you see with all this buying, it's going to start dwindling down to the point where they're going to have to start reordering from these mines. There's two less that they can get from, which means supply and demand. Less supply, more demand, price will go up. So mark my words, guys. I don't care how much I get hated by the people who just troll my channel because they have nothing better to do. Silver is going to be going up. I just don't expect it to go up tomorrow. But I expect in the next couple of weeks you're going to see decent rises to the upper 20s to the lower 30s if these things stay that way. Because remember, a couple of years ago when this one South African mine shut down because of a strike with the platinum mines, platinum went up over $1,000 an ounce. So I'm not saying that's what silver is going to do, but you're definitely going to see some, some, some significant rises. And I've always said it always takes a variable that comes in out of the blue to change everything and can totally change the course of something. So if you have a ball that's inevitably going to be rolling off a table and fall onto the floor, well, if you stop it from falling, it doesn't fall. All right? So keep that in mind. Let's hear what your opinions are. I don't expect everybody to have to agree with me. All I ask for is don't be a child when you make a comment. Say something that can educate us, not insult us. All right? Thanks for watching. Peace.